from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, May 24th. Okay, so we have the moon in Sagittarius all day. We are in this post-lunar situation and hopefully we're not experiencing some of the post-lunar hangover symptoms that can come after a full moon. And instead, let's hope that the moon in Sag is going to infuse us with a little bit of pep in our step. Of course, the moon in Sag is very optimistic, very confident, very adventurous, very hopeful, very wishful as well. And of course, we had a big day here yesterday yesterday with Venus conjuncting Jupiter setting the magical tone for this full moon in Sag and then of course Venus went ahead and she shifted into Gemini energy so we're still kind of acclimating to all these particular energy shifts and we're definitely going to continue to do that throughout the day here today but there's also something that we have to consider this is the very last full day of Jupiter being in the Taurus energy. We have Jupiter moving into Gemini energy here on Saturday, May 25th, and that is going to close out the last year chapter of Jupiter being in Taurus energy and opening us up for a brand new quest, a brand new adventure of information, of communication, of learning new things, of integrating new skills, of blending our wisdom and our intellect with our intuition. So we definitely still have a lot going on. Again, if you need to download your May Zodiac forecast, that's going to reveal to you where it is that these energies are fluctuating in your life. Of course, the Gemini season e-guide is going to be basically your energetic Bible to get you through this particular Zodiac season. There's a lot going on. We are going to feel all of the feels because Jupiter magnifies whatever it is that we are experiencing. And at a 29 degree critical crisis degree, karmic degree, you best believe we we are about to review the last year of life lessons in a very short amount of time. So there are eight different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Sag energy going to get off to a little bit of a bumpy start with a tough interaction with Mercury. Mercury, of course, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in this Taurus energy. We're grounded, we're logical, we're practical, but we're also tunnel visioned. And although that could help our focus and concentration on what needs to get done, it also blocks out options and opportunities off in our peripheral. So our heart space, the moon, our head space, Mercury, are not on the same page. A lot of that is because the moon in Sag is thinking very futuristically. Mercury being in Taurus energy is about the present moment. We don't want to allow our mental plane to go so far into the future that we forget about the power and control that we have over the smaller details here in this present day moment. However, the hope, the wishes, the dreams, imagination, creativity, definitely pushing our heart space to think past this present moment. The moon is then going to trine the north node in Aries energy. This is fire on fire action. We love this. This is inspiration. This is excitement, especially where the north node is trying to get us on the right path to a new soul purpose, this new soul mission. We are definitely feeling that pep in our step. We're feeling like we're well equipped, well prepared for this next chapter of growth, of learning, of life lessons. The moon is going to semi-square Pluto, though. That is definitely going to take us down a couple of pegs. Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in Aquarius energy. We're doing an inner reflection on the power struggles, an inner reflection on the self-sabotaging narrative, the self-sabotaging behaviors that our egoic programming has us looping through to prevent us from growing, from evolving. This particular interaction definitely going to intensify our emotional demeanor, our mood, our attitude, our focus, our concentration. We aren't going to go so far into the dark side that we lose the pep in our step, that we lose our optimism and confidence, but we're definitely coming back down to earth a little bit. Yes, we want to think about the future. Yes, we want to kind of start working towards our vision. However, we have to analyze in our psyche and our mental plane and our emotions what creeps up to prevent us from actually taking power and control over this present moment to do what we can do to align with the greater grander vision. 
Now here's where things get very sticky. 1223 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger in his rulership in Aries energy, is going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline in this Pisces energy. So you're going to say, well, why is it sticky? I thought it was a good interaction. Well, it is. However, it depends on how we're going to allow this energy to manifest. There's this element where we want to push forward. We want to move ahead. We want to make some progress. However, there's also a part of us that's saying, you know what? We have to be patient. We have to kind of, you know, pump the brakes. We have to just stand still. We have to wait for better timing. So here, the power struggle is going to illuminate the ants in our pants that want us to push forward versus the maturity coming from Mr. Saturn to know that we can't just move forward willy nilly. We need a path, a plan, a strategy. Many of us do not have the details ironed out. We're moving forward is concerned. And so that part of us is definitely wanting to stand still. There is this back and forth. There is this push and pull. And depending on your energy management, you could find yourself projecting restlessness, hastiness, ants in your pants out into the world that could create a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of friction, if you will. Um, and it could also cultivate a new spark, new fire, new flame, new passion, new desire for us to be building within. So again, overall, a positive aspect. However, the scattered and unstable energy could definitely take a turn for the worst if we're not managing that energy correctly. We are going to continue this little bit of edginess because the moon is going to get into the boxing ring square off with Saturn. So again, we're being brought down a couple of pegs. The moon and Sag, again, high hopes, big wishes, big dreams. Saturn's like, okay, that's nice. You can live in imaginary land, but if you don't do what you need to do in this present moment, Moment, to get a better routine, to get your mind right, to get focused on the plan, on the strategy, on the details, then you will not create or manifest anything out of your vision, out of your goal, out of your dream. So again, there's a seriousness that takes over. There is a little bit of a reality check that comes into play. It doesn't feel good, but it also shows us where it is that we have to stop playing in imaginary land and actually get to work building, constructing a new foundation, a new structure that's actually going to support our goals, our visions, our dreams. The moon is then going to trine Mars. So this is going to, again, put us in a more positive, more confident, more pep in our step type of energy. This is going to build on our inspirations, build on our motivations in order to get the vision right to get the goal right, to iron out the details. Again, Mars, who's anxiously awaiting to take action and make moves, very inspired, very excited, very motivated, very determined to see something through. But without a proper plan and strategy, we are just out in the world taking action just for the sake of taking action, and that is going to get us absolutely nowhere. This is going to build in our confidence, in our self-esteem, in our energy, in order for us to see our goal, our vision through. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury. So we didn't kind of start the day off very well between the moon and Mercury. However, we're turning things around. The moon and Mercury now working together. Now understanding that, again, emotionally, we have big wishes. We have big hopes, big wishes, big dreams, big visions, big goals for the future. Mercury, however, again, anchored in Taurus energy, a fixed Earth sign, wants to focus on stabilizing in this present moment, planning from this present moment. We don't want to project ourselves too far into the future. So our heart and our head are working together. Basically, we're able to kind of see the greater, grander picture, and then we're able to kind of break it down into small, manageable pieces of what we have power and control over in this present moment in the here and now. When it comes to communication, if you're put in a situation to have a heart to heart or to kind of open Open up a brand new dialogue on what it is that you want to see change in the present moment in order to align with the futuristic goals and visions that you're currently percolating on. It's going to be a good time to have these particular conversations. 
the last thing that we have going on here today is the moon and Sag trining beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. This is a positive interaction. It's working in our favor. It's instilling a sense of understanding, of comprehension, of preparedness, of purpose. So we're sat, we're having some aha moments here throughout the day that may kind of have us unpacking some of the confusion. But towards the end of the day, we're actually starting to see the path forward. We're seeing the potential for growth. We're seeing the potential for progress. And that again is reassuring to us that as long as we keep futuristically focused and bring ourselves back to this present moment and take control over whatever it is that we have control over here in the here and now, we can be actively building towards manifesting the goal, the vision, the dream that we're now excited to pursue.